proof that square root of 3 is irrational. In order to do that, we're going to use an old method called the proof by contradiction. In this method, we first assume that something is what everybody else thinks it is. So, in this case, let square root of 3 be rational. Therefore, we can easily write the square root of 3 as a over b, where a and b are in their simplest forms, which means they have no common factors. I uh, created an information lock to our left, so I can write down any important notes that we find out during our calculations. So, as we said in our previous statement, square root of 3 can easily be written as a over b. Now, we want to eliminate the square root by putting everything in the second power. Therefore, square root of 3 in the second power is equal to a squared over b squared. Now, the square root and the second power cancel out, leaving us with 3 is equal to a squared over b squared. Now, let's get rid of the division too, so we just multiply everything by b squared. And what we're left with is 3b squared is equal to a squared. And because 3b squared is equal to a squared, that means that a must be a multiple of 3. So let's write that down in our information log. If a is the multiple of 3, we can write that as 3x, x being any value. Now we go back to our calculations. Replace a squared by 3x squared, and we're left with 3b squared is equal to 3x squared. Now uh, we do the calculations and we find out that 3x squared is equal to 9x squared. Now we can actually simplify on both sides by dividing by 3. So on the left side of the equation we are left with b squared and on the right side of the equation we are left with 3x squared. So if 3x squared is equal to b squared that means that b squared or b must be a multiple of 3 as well. And we write that down in our information log. But we notice there's a problem because according to our previous statement, A and B can have no common factors while they seem to have 3 as a common factor. Therefore, we can conclude that square root of 3 is irrational. Another way you can prove that square root of 3 is in fact irrational is using a calculator. If you type in square root of 3 on a calculator, you see that the answer involves a lot of decimals which are non-repeating and non-terminating. By definition, that means that square root of 3 is irrational.